Hey, this is Ethan Ballinger, and I'm going to be showing you a unit converter uh, in C++. Alright, this unit converter is for um, length. Um, we're going to read in a, uh, a value, a double, and uh, then we're going to read in a, a string of units. And um, we set this, um, this digit right here, this character, will uh, in the uh, in the program. Um, I used meters, centimeters, inches, and feet um, to do a couple if statements. I'm basically converting everything to meters. Um, if it's if the unit is equal to feet, then multiply by 12, get inches. And then if it's inches, multiply by 2.54 to get centimeters. If it's in centimeters, divide it by 100 to get meters. Um, and then it C out you uh, C out set that uh, value. And uh, in this part, we're pushing the values back. And this isn't you really have to do this, but it's what the assignment required. Um, we wanted to uh, display the smallest one, the largest one, um, if it was the smallest and the largest, and at the end all the total values. Um, basically this if statement is saying if it's the smallest, if it's bigger than the small, and if it's smaller than the large, then you just don't put anything. But if it's smaller than the smallest one, and larger than the largest one, then you see out it's the smallest and the largest so far. Um, that's basically each one is explaining how to do um, like for the smallest one. Uh, this one's for the largest one. And then our count is the number that uh, the number of links we've entered, and the sum is all of the links together in meters. And um, we used a a while loop right here and then a bunch of if statements one two three four five six seven eight if statements inside a while loop and then our else statement which is kinda like a fallback if it doesn't apply you see out an error and you see epic fail wrong units try again um, and what this this command does is sort command it uh, takes the values um, values dot begin and values dot end and it sorts them. Um, we see out the smallest value, the largest value, the total number of values, that's our count, the sum of the values, that's our sum, and the values are, and it lists the values off. Um, the way we do that is we used a vector, I believe. Yes, vector double values. And um, basically, it when you push back, you use a pushback command for um, for very uh, for vectors. And the pushback is right here. Values dot pushback uh, variable one. And it um, each value you enter is pushing it back into the vector. And then this is this for loop right here is displaying the vector right here. And uh, of course, your window op keep window open and return zero. Um, I'm gonna run it just to show y'all what I'm talking about. Um, enter a number followed by a unit of length, meter, centimeter, inches, feet, uh, five feet. 1.524, uh, it's in meters, is the smallest and largest so far. Um, 34 inches. 0 0.8636 meters is the smallest so far. Um, 500 centimeters. Five is the largest so far. It's five meters. Um, Twenty nine feet. Eight point eight three nine two is the largest so far. Um, Ten meters. Ten is the largest so far. And Control Z, enter, and it'll display. The smallest value is zero point eight six three. Six meters. Uh, the largest is ten. Total number of values one, two, three, four, five. That's right. Five. The sum. 
that's going to be the sum in meters, as you can see in meters. Um, the values are, and it lists the values off. One, two, three, four, five. Those are values. Please enter a character to exit, and that is your unit converter. You can do this for lots of stuff. You can do. Um, I've done before. I've done a um, temperature converter. Um, this is only converter, so you can do. You know, you can change it to. You know, add kilometers if you want miles. Um, it just you just have to use the right conversion factors, like I have done in here. And uh, here's the code one more time. Scroll through it. And there's your unit converter.